When people talk about ladder matches, they sometimes forget that subterfuge can play a part. Absolutely. If you can't incapacitate your opponent long enough to set up and climb the ladder, perhaps you can distract them. Oh, whatever it takes to get the job done. Of course, I prefer it when they incapacitate them, but hey, I'm old school that way. When a chance for the title is awaiting you at the top of the ladder, you use whatever strategy works, guys. No way! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Setting him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. Oh, He's seeing it up on the ring apron right now. You've got to wonder what he has in mind here. Got him. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Guys, I'd be amazed if this is where the match ends. You and me both. Two of these. You're going to need your back adjusted after that one. Corey, what is something most people forget about in a ladder match? Timing is
He's back into the ring. He's in a bad oh, way. He's a sitting duck, Michael. He's got to get away from that ladder. I don't know. I'm looking for it. Oh, straight in the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. Taking four. Takes the time out of the ladder. Cole, that's a rough landing if I ever saw one. Headbutt and a back of the neck. Sure, he's popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Hey, don't look now, but that ladder is lined up perfectly. Holder.